So guys, for the first step, you want to get into this screen. Now to get into this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As your computer is turning on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and it'll take you into this screen. So you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Then you just want to quickly turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and it'll take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once we're here, we have a few things that we can try. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options. And then you want to select System Restore. If you do not see System Restore, you want to select See More Recovery Options. And then you should have it right here. So we're going to click on System Restore. If you have a restore point created on your computer, you want to click on Next. Then you want to go back to your restore point, And then hopefully this will fix the problem. If you do not have one, that's fine. We're going to click on Cancel. And now for the second method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Start to Prepare. Now it's going to diagnose your PC. See if this works for you. If that did not work, that's fine. You want to click on Advanced Options, Troubleshoot, Advanced Options again. And now we're going to try Uninstall Updates. Click on this. Now you want to uninstall the latest feature update. Click on this. And then click on Uninstall Feature Update. See if that works for you. You could also try to uninstall the latest quality update as well. See if that works for you. If not, we're just going to go back. And now for the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options and a command prompt. And now once we're here, we're going to be typing in some commands. If you see any errors on my screen, just ignore it. In your case, it should be working. So for the first command, you want to type in the drive letter that you have Windows installed on. It's most likely going to be your C drive, so type in C colon, click on enter. If it's a different drive, you can type in that instead. But for most of you, it's going to be C colon. And now for the next command, you want to type in cd space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config and click on enter. Now we're going to type in md space backup, click on enter. Now we're going to type in copy space star dot star space backup, click on enter. Now we're going to type in cd space regback, click on enter. And now we're going to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, click on enter. Now for the last command, we're going to type in a and then click on enter. Again, ignore any areas on my screen, but in your case, hopefully this will fix your problem. Now we're just going to close this out. Now you want to continue to Windows. Hopefully that will work for you now. If that did not work for the last method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, reset this PC. If you have your files backed up, you want to go remove everything. If you don't, you want to go over keep my files. Reset your computer, and then hopefully now your problem will be fixed.